This has to be by far one of the worst box fans I have ever seen made in the history of box fans. Has thin blades. The design is terrible. It's all plastic and the air is restricted. It actually moves all the air inside the cabinet. And the way those guards are made, it hardly ever blows any air. Yet, they still produce this today, and it still sells to the average customer, somebody that don't know nothing at all about fans, and can care less about how much air it moves. That's the only reason why this fan is still in existence today. Because the average consumer, not fan collectors, but the average consumer knows nothing at all about fan air dynamics, motors, oiling, cleaning, none of that stuff. The only thing they know is, okay, well, buy the fan and put it on the floor, put it on the table, turn it on and turn it off. That's all they know. When it gets clogged up and dirty, all right, it's clogged up and dirty. I don't know anything else more than that. Uh, throw it out. That's why you see so many of these in the trash. That's why you see so many Lasco 3733s in the trash. You see all these trash finds. Because the average consumer or customer is not a fan person. They just happen to buy it and when it gets cluttered up like that or lock up on them because it needs oil, they throw it out. But this is one of the worst. And I can't believe I actually got all three colors. I got blue, white, and black. At the time I got these, I didn't realize at the time that these were terrible fans. Until I got the first one and I realized that, you know, these things are garbage. So I can't believe I actually got the other two. I guess because I like the color of it and I like the long spin down. That's about the only thing I got going for it. But I got fans in my collection that are just awful. They don't really move nowhere. Because you got these garbage manufacturers that don't know how to make it right. All that being said, let's go ahead and run this piece of junk. It's not going to blow in the air. You're not going to hear nothing. You're not going to hear the wind stream probably. Let's go ahead and run this junk at full power for the sake of the video. This is more or less just a noise maker. Their intention was never to make it to move air. Very little air comes out of it. That's garbage. Thing is not even worth running that long. It's a piece of garbage. The spin down time is the only thing it's really got going for it. And the fact that it's royal blue. Tori the fan man used to have this. In fact, he didn't like it at all. He ended up giving it away to somebody for another fan they gave him. I asked him about it one time. He said he gave it away. So... It's interesting how it's got a really, really long spin down time. Those blades must have some weight to it. And that's about it. That's about all it got going for it. Long spin down time, and that's it. And the simple fact that this particular one is royal blue. The other one I got is black, and the other one I got is... is um, is white, but this one seems to have the longest spin down time. Well, that's going to do it for this 20 inch piece of junk. Okay, that these buckles made. 
grown. I mean, I don't know. I forgot who the uh, manufacturer is, but Medea, whatever they call themselves. Yeah, y'all could have did a better job. You might want to consider redesigning it and make it so it can actually move air. Thanks for watching. I'm out the fan, man. God bless you and go. More videos come soon. And out.